Tuesday. You know what that means? Tom's got the know-how. He's on your screen. Quick little tricks. Smart ideas that stick. It's Tuesday Tips with Tom. Loss of electrical power in flight affects different pilots in different ways. An alternator or generator failure in day visual conditions with no air traffic control requirement is very different from the same event at night or in instrument conditions, or if you're flying where ATC contact is required. There's another consideration for many beach pilots. In all factory installed IL-520, IL-550, and most 520 and 550 engine conversions, the primary alternator is mounted directly to the forward engine case and is gear driven by the engine crankshaft. Even if you have a backup alternator or generator that can pick up some or all of the electrical load, if the primary alternator fails on one of these engines, there's a possibility metal fragments can get into the engine's oil system and cause a catastrophic engine failure. Here's how. If the alternator bearing or drive shaft fails, or the alternator breaks internally or stops spinning, or an alternator drive gear is damaged, it's possible metal fragments will enter the engine oil system. This can cause cylinder or internal engine damage. It's possible, and it's happened before, that an alternator failure can lead to total engine failure. You can't tell from the pilot seat why an alternator has failed. If you are flying with a gear-driven alternator and see an alternator out or low bus voltage enunciator, use the appropriate checklist. If you find the, if you find the failure is real and not just an indicator error, use a backup alternator or generator if you have one. Even so, land at the nearest airport where you can get the system checked. You want a mechanic to pull your failed alternator and confirm there is no loose metal or damage to the alternator gears. Be ready for engine failure as you fly to the closest airport, looking for places to land as you go. In a Baron, you might consider a precautionary engine shutdown. Of course, this doesn't apply if your alternator or generator is belt driven. Know how your system is built and the possible implications of your airplane's system design. I'm Tom Turner. Thanks for taking two minutes to learn more about your Beechcraft.